Hey everybody, what's going on? It is Saucy. Um, I'm here hanging out on Taco Tuesday. Just had a few tacos. Feeling pretty good. Last year I found out how to reset Dell BIOS passwords using a an online website. So if you guys want to go down to the, to the place, it's BIOS uh, line hyphen pw.org. I, I'm bad with my computer verbiage. And it's it's really good. All you need is you could you could use a pro. This is not a program. It's just a website on your phone. So you don't need to worry about running Windows and running some EXE to unlock the thing. This uh, person figured it all out, and then like some other person was like, "Hey, I found out your code. I'm gonna put it up online." And the other person's like, "Oh yeah, sure, whatever. I don't give a shit." Yeah, I don't know. He's real real weird, but it's super cool. So. Uh, I'll let you guys watch the rest of the video. Before we start off, I just want to show what a typical BIOS of a Dell as it looks like. Uh, the logo might be a little bit different, but you just press F2 and wait for it. We get to the BIOS screen. Now there's nothing here, but the big thing that you need to look out for is this low defaults down there. Um, if you don't have that, if it shows like a lock on there or, an, or like an unlock, something like that then you know the BIOS is locked and so this can be a problem because certain things like the boot sequence advanced boot options date and time can be all locked um, other things is like the video um, LCD brightness is one thing I believe uh, uh, Optimus uh, like Nvidia Optimus the graphics card uh, technology where you can switch from the Intel and the NVIDIA uh, GPU. I believe it might be disabled. And we got some other things, uh, parallel ports to report SATA operation. Now, if you have a BIOS locked uh, latitude, the SATA operation, I, on this particular laptop, not this one, but I had another, the, another one just like this, um, I could not get this thing to boot because it had RAID on and I had like this uh, S. I had like this M SATA to S. Uh, 2.5 inch SSD adapter, and it would not work. What I ended up having to do was just remove the M SATA. I don't know why they had the M SATA adapter when they had an M SATA port, but uh, anywho, um, sometimes, sometimes you know these might not boot up when you put in a new hard drive and when you want to boot to it because. RAID might be on or set up operation might be disabled. Random little hiccups. And plus, you know, if you want more than more than uh, one or two drives to be seen, you can't have that. Smart reporting, you know, USB configuration and power share. Just, there's quite a bit of things that, that can happen if you have a BIOS locked Dell Latitude. So, but this is like the mostly the, the most of the things. Secure boot is another thing as well. It can be a big time problem if you're trying to install something without secure boot and it will not boot to legacy stuff like that. So I just just want to give you guys what it would look like, you know, with with what options you will lose if you have a BIOS locked Dell attitude. Okay, let's go ahead and check out laptop number one. I didn't think about <laughs> the battery. <laughs> I guess it's uh, still alive. Oh, it's going to die right now. <laughs> Whoops. Let's go ahead and get into the BIOS. Press F2 to get in here. Now we see down here that it is definitely locked and it asks for an unlock code. So now we have the, the administrator password is set on his computer. Basically, find out who has the administrator password and you can unlock it, right? Uh, let's go ahead and check out certain things. You can still check the machine out. Um, like this processor, I'm glad that it could, you could turn it on and get to see what processor it has. So, I think it's like a 
20 or 30 dollar processor nothing too crazy battery you know you get some money off of that now we check the boot sequence we only have internal hard drive and onboard NIC boot list option is legacy so it looks like we might be boned from here diskette drive USB and CD is all disabled let's go ahead and see if I can do anything about it um, I'm just gonna press F12 to see if I can boot from the USB I most likely not cannot but I mean we've all we've all <laughs> probably have done it before <laughs> uh, looks like we got some UFI, UEFI boot and huh. I guess if you have a UEFI system on here you could boot from it I think I have part of magic on here so not all is lost unless it doesn't boot oh no I guess it will boot I think I had a few of these where we were still able to boot from from a USB and we found it kind of weird because I don't think the system administrator kind of knew about this. This was at a time when the whole UEFI thing was, you know, going on. And yeah, um, it's taking quite a bit to load, I think. Maybe it's because I'm so used to USB 3.0 speeds. And it looks like we're in. Huh. Strange. All right. Well, that's nice to know. But we are here to unlock this thing. We're going to do the unlock. Now, let's go ahead and get our second computer. Uh, you can look it up on your phone. The, the, the website is phone friendly. So, um, oh, what am I doing on here? Let's go to BIOS. Uh, do, I don't know what that is. Line <laughs> dash. Uh, pw.org um, there is a downloadable version of this website um, but I was not able to get it working the offline version of it um, let's go ahead you, if we check out this website we can see a few things we have De uh, <laughs> Dell we have compact Dell Fujitsu Simmons Hewlett Packard uh, Inside H20, Phoenix, Sony, and Samsung. So they're all a few different things. And if we look right here, we have a few different um, uh, hash codes examples. Let me just zoom it in so we could get, have a nice good view. Uh, right there, 1D3B. That was something that got my attention because when I was selling these these latitudes for parts as is, this was before I parted them out. I want to sell the entire thing. Um, this person asked me, hey, what's the ending code about it? And it made me wonder, why would he want to know what it is? So let's go ahead and type this thing up. 46014R, capital R, 1, uh, line, dash, <laughs> 1D3B. Now you have to do capitalizations. It won't work otherwise. We're going to click get password. Try the following codes. Uh, I found that this Dell from the serial number works the best. So let's go ahead and try that. Now I don't know if that's an L or if that's a capital I. The only thing that's wrong about this website is that it doesn't have the, the, the font on here sucks. So I'm going to go with L. A-K-D-N-Y-D-G. And I'm told that we should, I think, uh, oh yeah, for some, it says down here, for some Dell codes, press Control enter not enter when entering the BIOS code. Let's do Control enter Incorrect password, all right? So let's go ahead and give us a try, another try. D-M-O-Z-5. Did I say I did L or did I say it? I'm just going to go capital I. A-K-D-N-Y-D-G. Control enter Boom. What is, look at that, it's unlocked. This is, if, if you guys, this is just, I've had maybe like, I wanna say 80, 85%, maybe 90, 92% of all the Dell Latitudes I've had with this uh, BIOS password website work. 
And I was selling these these laptops super cheap too because I thought they were all broken. Now granted, I didn't know that it was it was, it was better if I parted this thing out and I would have made, well currently right now I'm making more money parting it out than selling the whole unit because uh, of that lid, it's just in terrible shape that, you know, you got you got to d d uh, deter the, uh, remove the, you know, the unsightly um, aspect of his, of his <laughs> phone, I was going to say phone, of his laptop, but yeah. It is unlocked. We have we I did boot to de default. We have all these options available. Bootless option, view, all this good stuff. So let's go ahead and get the next one started. Before I start it up, I should connect it to power and not connect it to Ethernet. Power is right there. Looks like there's some screen flicker. It's actually just the camera. It's not it's not the there's actually no screen flicker on here. Buy this product. There's no screen flicker. Buy this product. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get a nice view of it. Let's go to unlock another 1D3B. So I honestly feel that this is gonna be super successful. Let's try it again. Now, you don't have to refresh the page or anything. You just go ahead and erase from there. B918MX1 and then 1D3B. Let's get the password. Oh, this one's a lot more easier. So control enter. Boom. Erased. And uh, Boot sequence. See, you could you could mess with it right here, but what I just like to do is just I just like to just do low defaults, default settings. Yes, yes, yes. The brightness went back up. Exit. You can't really change setting when you do low defaults. You got to reset it. F12 minus 10. Woo! And this is a uh, fairly, I think it's pretty good. Uh, 2.9 gigahertz i5 IV bridge, Intel graphics, 720p display, nothing special. Four gigs of RAM. Uh, this RAM stick is arguably 12 to 15 dollars. This processor by itself is, I think, uh, goes for like 30 to 36 dollars. And the motherboard, um, I think I've been selling them for like 34 dollars. This is all with free shipping and the shipping being first class. Yeah. So that's like what about what 90 doll? Did I say 90? No, it was more like $75. So $75. And I've been seeing these computers go for 115 with a hard drive and an OS installed and a battery. So you could get a a pretty good deal. Well, I wouldn't say it's a good deal, but if you buy these for like forty, fifty dollars, and you part them out, that's where the money's at. But if you want to fix them up, oh man, it's that's it's tough. You, I honestly would want to get an i7 with an Nvidia instead, and try to shoot for three hundred. But that's just me. That's just me. And one thing I like about the E60 E60 uh, 430 is that it has a much more nicer looking keyboard. I mean, that is a way better keyboard than the E6420. As a matter of fact, where did I put it at? Here's a side-by-side -side example of these two keyboards. The Dell Latitude has like this orange like bezel around it. it. It's really ugly. This accent just doesn't go well. While the E6430 has like a little bit darker metal finish than this one right here. Um, I definitely do like the E6430. I'm not sure why Dell did this orange look on this orange accent. It just looks terrible. Maybe because there was the Covenant version of the Dell Precision. I'm not too sure. Um, other than that, they're they're completely like identical for, for the most part. Um, I think uh, I've been seeing more E6430s with um, fingerprint scanner than the E6420s, but I mean, they're just, uh, well, the lighting's bad over here, but yeah, they're about 
about the same. So, so yeah, I put it out. I put this for uh, sixty dollars locally, and this one. Uh, oh, there's no price on there. I hope you guys liked the video. It is as easy as I shown it. The only thing is that the I's and the and the L's are kind of confusing, and some of the the M and N's kind of get kind of weird. It's just the font on there. Maybe I guess you could do copy and paste and put up like a Word document, and change the font, and find out find it all out. You know the actual uh, keys. I'd say. Control enter would always work. Sometimes I do control okay or just enter. It it just depends. Um, it's kind of weird, but for the most part, it is really easy to do. Um, I wish that that little the shorter code would work, but it never does. Um, as far as those two laptops, most likely I'm gonna part them out because they have some scratches on the lid and they don't really they don't have Nvidia graphics base i fives. It's just a lot more easier if, if I just part them out rather than install an OS and then test out the battery. And it's just, it just kind of takes a little bit too long. So until an immaculate one with like an i7 or something comes by, then 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 I'll sell it. But yeah, um, I hope you guys liked the video. If not, give it a dislike. If you do, um, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm at 137 subscribers or 47 subscribers. So maybe I might do something special for 150 <laughs> uh yeah so i'll see you guys around bye bye